What's up everybody, my name is Ben Miller and today we've got a really, really special uh, surprise for you. We've got something really cool coming out from J-Rocket Audio. Uh, this is the Clockwork Echo. And uh, we've been talking about this for, uh, for a while now, for at least for a couple months, uh, since I saw kind of the behind the scenes reveal when it was not even in a box. And uh, myself and a few other players sat down and went through this thing just tweaking stuff that looked like a transformer <laughs> uh, on, a PC, on a PC board. So, I'm going to take you through a couple different settings here. Uh, we're going left channel is a PV Classic 50, so left, left ear PV Classic 50. And your right channel is going to be a 59 Fender Baseman uh, stock Nomads. And uh, I've got my, uh, uh, it's a switchback country boy with some Filtertron style pickups, like a TV Jones, TV Jones kind of thing. And that's what that sounds like. All right, so let's turn this pedal on. Reach over here. Okay, so right now it's just kind of set to a, a little bit of a lengthier delay. Okay. Now, what you should notice right off the bat is that we've got a kind of a warbling sound happening. Um, with the delay, so with the repeats, you've got hear that um, because it's modulating behind the note, it gives you a lot of texture. Check this out. underneath. I'm going to crank it up just a hair. Here we go. Play the same thing. It's an ethereal kind of thing. It's lovely. Alright. Now, my favorite part is that you can you can increase the depth, but you can also increase the speed at which it shakes. So check us out. We're going to increase the speed a little bit, and then we're going to take the depth just a little hair further. Check us out. Same thing. It's much more, much more pronounced. And you can set the repeats as long as you like. Uh, you can also get your, uh, your expression pedal in there and, and control the length of the repeats also. That can do some really cool things. We'll do that here in a little bit. Um, so check us out. Uh, I've noticed that when you make it slow and you make the, uh, the depth really dramatic, you get some really interesting things. <laughs> take it off the deep end. Now check this out. When you start increasing the speed, there's not really enough time for it to get warbly and like super out of tune. So you get kind of a, you, you get a really, really useful, uh, a useful sound out of it. Check it out. See, that's pretty neat. Now let's take the mix down and kind of hide that just a hair. Watch this. that into your solos. Uh, so check this out, check this out real quick. I'm going to add this to it. When you increase the level, you increase the gain. Check this out. Turn that back off. Watch this. Isn't that neat? So we can kind of crank this a little bit. Back down just a hair. Now 
let's say you want kind of like a soaring lead sound, you can do that with one pedal. Um, get your gain going up, and then we're going to kind of make this kind of hang out a little bit longer. And then let's take the repeats. Let's take that down, and then let's kind of tuck it in the mix just a little bit. So we can get a little bit of a solo going. Let's take it up just a hair. I want more of it. through my speakers left and right uh, and I've got the uh, the ISO booth uh, right in front of me so it's really cool it's 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 enveloping enveloping me if that's word enveloping me let's go a little bit further here uh, one of my favorite things I'm gonna turn the modulation off for a sec one of my things is the slap back so let's take the time there we go and we're gonna take the repeats all the way down to one just about right. That's exactly what I want. Uh, let's clean it up just a hair. Okay, so again, here's the... That's the pedal off. Yeah, and let's tuck that just a hair. Okay, here we go. And you can have as little or as much as you want. So you can take it all the way down. That's really tucked back in there. Really subtle. Or you can have it right at the max. Now the interesting thing about that mix button, uh, or the mix knob anyways, is that uh, this is going to give you more of your uh, natural clean guitar sound. And then over here is going to take away more of that and give you more of the delay. See? Very interesting, isn't it? So let's see what happens all the way up. See? It takes all of your sound away. So it's all delay. Let's go back to the middle here. All right. Now, real cool thing. Let's get some grit on that thing. Okay? Take the mix down just a hair. Let's take the mix down just a hair more. And you know what? Let's get that warble back in there and just see what it does. Slapback sticks around. Neat. This pedal's just full and full of textures. It's incredible. Now here's one thing that I found. Let's take 
the speed up a little bit. Let's take the uh, let's take the depth down just a hair. That's what we want. I'm gonna take the mix down just a hair. We don't want it to stick around super super long. Check that out. All right, here we go. It's a little riff that I, I was just playing with. This is the first thing that I played as soon as it came out of the box. It gets out of its own way. Oh, I wonder. Should I? I should. I guess I should try it, right? Let's try this. Let's try. Yeah. And let's try the mix a little higher. Let's try the repeats at one. So some prints. Make it even more dramatic. What do you say? Let's make it slower. plugged in um, with the uh, expression pedal and play around with uh, the repeat sound. Um, this is really, really cool. It basically just replaces, it replaces your repeats knob with an expression pedal and uh, you know all the way down is endless which you can get some really, really interesting things going on with that and then all the way back is uh, kinda, you know the quick stuff. Alright, check it out. Stay tuned. Okay, so check it out. All the way back, uh, I've got my little, uh, I don't know if you can see it here or not, but uh, I don't have a long enough TRS cable <laughs> to pull this off, uh, but I do have a short one and it's plugged into the pedal right now. So I've got my expression pedal off to the side. Uh, gonna do some really cool stuff here for you. Check it out. So all the way down is gonna be um, your 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 just one, just one repeat, and then all the way up is gonna be your endless repeats and everything, and then everything in between. So okay, check that out. Okay, let's go a little bit. Yeah. And then all the way up. Can you see how it kind of fades over time? It's really, really cool stuff. It's really loud in here right now. <laughs> Eventually, 
dis disappears, it does that really cool lo-fi thing at the bottom too. So let's do it again. It's almost like you can make a pad. you guys for hanging out and uh, getting a little peek into one, one my mind uh, and now I'm blind with this uh, with this ring light that I've got going on here and uh, and hanging out with the uh, the new J rocket audio clockwork echo I mean it's one of those game-changing pedals that's I mean it's gonna be like you're like your oh do you have a vintage memory man or do you have this you're like oh this and this it's gonna start I guarantee you it's gonna start showing up on uh, on session player boards, it's gonna start. It's definitely gonna start showing up on live live guys boards. Uh, the worship guys are gonna go crazy about this also because of the tap tempo function uh, and the modulation. Um, it's pretty pretty awesome stuff. So I hope you've stuck around and I hope you enjoyed this demo. And uh, you know, head over to the Rocket the J Rocket Audio website and uh, check it out. Once again, my name is Ben Miller. Thank you for hanging out with me. I love you all. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.